Would you like to share with us some of your experience with Infosys? Which one? I, I have written that in some, one of my books, but which one you call? I really don't know the name. Can you just tell anyone which you like? It's hard to tell, but I can tell you, starting Infosys uh, with a 10,000 rupees journey, I never ever thought or dreamt uh, we'll become famous, rich, nothing I dreamt. We took it as an adventure and we started. The journey was more beautiful than the results. We did, of course, we became famous, we got money, etc. But the journey itself, without expecting anything, that journey itself was beautiful. And I think in one of my books I have written that I will do it, is one lesson I remember. Other one is, uh, other one is a mother's advice. Maybe my mother told me in life where to spend, where not to spend, that's one another. I suppose that's all I, I remember. But the journey of Infosys itself was a beautiful journey where, you know, we had very little money but we had a lot of confidence because we never ran after money. Please remember, if you ran after money, money runs away from you. If you run after good work, money comes behind you. And that's what Infosys is, that we ran after good values and uh, money came. But if you wanted to make, I, we never thought of making big money, etc. My idea when we started Infosys was, I want to have a scooter and a two-bedroom apartment. That's all my aim was there at that time. I never aimed money in my life at all, any moment of time, because money never fascinated me. It is the book which fascinated me. It is the knowledge which fascinated me. It is the children who they fascinated me. So my fascinations were so different. So money never fascinated me. So the journey of Infosys was more of, of our value system, how we ran, and with absolutely no money and absolutely nothing, we felt bad also. I used to drive the car. Later we had a car. I was a driver for a long time to drop everybody, pick up everyone. Then uh, we, were, uh, we all stayed in one house. Rodi Nilekani, myself and Sudha Gopalakrishnan. We used to cook. I never used to cook. They used to cook, but I used to take the food. So we lived like a joint family for some time. And my children were looked after by Rohini Nilekani. They will not do office work, I will do my office work. She will do other work. As I used to be, if programmer is on leave, I will go and do programming. After all, it was a journey of our five fundamental founders lived in a joint family of different language, different community, different state, lived like one family and lived with a value system. And that's what I can call our journey. Can we open the questions to the parents, please? Uh, just raise your hand. And Last time, I could not answer uh, students in a crossroad. I was feeling very bad. It was already 9.30. So I thought this time, let me talk to children. Okay. Ma'am, it's a pleasure to hear you today. Yes. Ma'am, it's a pleasure to hear you today. And thanks, PTA, for organizing this. I really appreciate the qualities you said that you uh, wash vessels once in a year and do those kind of things to know what is happening. I would like to know or y your suggestions on uh, for the school kids what they can do in a year to keep, keep themselves on the ground and be more aware about what is happening in the world. You should do that, not they. Yeah, so we. I agree. See, what happens? Suppose you want your g children should be aware of the reality, right? Okay. This is a way, uh, this is a high, please sit down, please sit down. This is a subjective way of telling, but how I did, I can tell you. My child came and told me, Amma, in our school there is a birthday party. I think there's a birthday party in the big way, I suppose, nowadays. There's a birthday party, my son, my friend's house, they, they take us to a, some five-star restaurant. Some well-off parents can't take. There's nothing wrong because everybody has their way of doing birthdays. There's nothing, I will comment on that, going to five-star hotel is less or not good or nothing of that sort. That's their parents' wish. He went once, I think his classmates' birthday was there and my child uh, Rohan, my son, went to birthday party, came and said, oh, it was so good and my birthday, I even I want to take. I said, no bill, you can't take. He said, why? I said, Rohan, please remember, how much it will cost? Let us talk about it. Each child, let us take 1,000 rupees. You call about 50 people, your class. How much it costs? 50 into 1,000 is how much? 50,000 rupees. He said, Rohan, please remember, you know, I told her there was a person who used to come and drive our car. I said, he has two children. They are as bright as you are, okay? Their school fees are probably in those days of 10,000. If you give 20,000 to them, they can go to a better school, beta. For your birthday, I'm not denying you should not do, etc. I will buy samosa, okay? I will buy samosa and rasna packet. Or Nimbu Sharma, something, no, no, mango or drink was there, what is that? Masa, not masa, fruity, fruity, yeah, fruity in those days, I'm talking about uh, 25 years back. 
I will spend for 50 children plus our driver's children, everyone, you know, all together this much money. More than that, I think you should not spend because you have, you, you, what you are doing is wrong according to me. Those two children will not go to school, whereas you spent 50,000. And he didn't like it. What I said, he didn't like it. He said, oh, you always give me uh, hishob, that means you always give me plus minus, always a balance sheet. I said, uh, think over it, I will give you three days time. And after three days, he came back and said, okay, I agree, but along with samosa, you should give us one gulab jamun or something. <laughs> I said, fine. Okay. I told, and in front of him, I gave 10,000 to our driver's children in front, through his hand. I said, Bill, from your account, there's a 50,000 rupees. Out of that, this is the way you have spent. This, was, this much money is left, and this you should give it to some good cause. And I used to take my children, when I wash vessels, I used to take my children to wipe them. You have to take your children. Fortunately, I had a job like this, where I go to uh, Lambani, tribal area, etc. I used to take my children, come with me. I can show you they are very good children there. They don't have an opportunity. Is it not your duty? So he, I used to tell me, you make me so guilty, Amma, to spend any money. And today, <laughs> because every time you'll bring one case like that. So today he says, Amma, what you did was a fantastic education that when we spend so much money, we never think of someone else. And that sense of caring for others. For example, you know, we, had a, we have a cook and we had a cook always gets food. So the cooks normally eat, used to eat in the kitchen. I told one day, Rohan, I was talking about equality in life or some topic. I, when they become 14, 16, I treated them like adult. Just like adult. At least after 14 boys, after 16 you know, girls, also 13 only you have to do now, one hour early. <laughs> I treated them like adults and we'll have a conversation on a dining table. I talk, talked about equality and I was talking about slavery in America, equality is so important in life. Then he said, Amma, if that is equality, will our drivers, you will our uh, uh, cook uh, eat on the same table as ours? For a minute, I never thought about it. I said, yeah, why not? And he, he made it a point, our cooks eat at the same dinner table. But our cooks were hesitating, no, we, we don't want to eat. Then, you know, I made a, a samsota, like you can eat after we eat. If you feel like eating, no, you don't want to eat with us, at least you sit, uh, use the dining table and eat on the dining table. It may be a small move, but that made a lot of awareness for my children, equality in life. When he was in our Cornell school, Ron's birthday came and I was thinking he was abroad in those days, what he will do? I would have been unhappy, this is my subjective opinion, if he spent so much money on a birthday which comes every year, why waste that kind of a money? It is not something like fantastic thing, it is not like we are Mahatma Gandhi born on October 2nd. We are ordinary people, or we are just ordinary people. Let us not think that we are too great. If somebody says, oh, what do you think of yourself? I said, I'm a very ordinary person. Very ordinary person, but the situation made me great. The situation made me great. I'm very ordinary than, like anybody else. You should bring up this idea with your children's mind. Look, my child, you are ordinary. Just because your father has money or I have money, you are not extraordinary. Money comes due to various reasons. Okay? And money, what you have, has a cause. That I made it to my children in a very young age. And when he was in Cornell, he wrote to me, and I have that email even today. He said, every mother works, every mother looks after her child, but I am proud my mother looks after someone's children. He said, that's the best compliment I can say. He got a scholarship. Then, he got a scholarship and he, he sent the very little money. He must have had one lakh rupee or something, you know. Not great money. He wrote to me, Amma, this money should be spent on my birthday to all those jawans who died in the parliament attack in 2001. They died there so that we can live in free democratic India. It is not a big money. It is not a big money. But that idea of sharing wealth with somebody, idea of being sensitive, someone is poor and they have a right to live and making equality along with our own driver and cook. Such ideas you have to initiate to your children. That is very important. Most of the time we don't do that because we think what others will think, what is the status. Suppose my neighbor comes, my cook is eating on the dining table, what they think of us. You know, all those false values, all those, you know, uh, tightened compartments we build around what people think. Let them think what they think. You cannot live on people's opinion. You have to live on your own opinion. And that you should understand to tell your children. Children will be, not, you know, for many years children will carry your values. Later, once they are married, their wife's value, once they are exposed to different values, you know, uh, that, that goes on changing. But to some extent, great extent, you can reflect it.